How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is going to be going over some of the new cards that came out but I also opened one of those Game Breaker sets and uh, I actually pushed my luck on one of those new packs that came out today. You guys leave a like, subscribe if you're not already, I'll top into the video right now. Check it out here as you can see I mean these are unbelievable cards. You have 87 McDavid, 87 Wayne Gretzky, 87 Mario Lemieux, Steve Eiserman. I mean Finally, finally, we've gotten upgrades to the hologram cards. So there it is, Gretzky and Lemieux. Their holograms go up to an 87 overall now. McDavid's X Factor goes up to an 87 as well. Eisenman does not have an icon card uh, that that does boost up. So I mean, that's just a you know the highest rated Eisenman, which this card is very good, I will say. Um, and then checking out some other other game breaker cards that came out here. Uh, you have Neil Pionk, Konechny, Kempe, McCann, Byram, Soros, Dolan. Uh, Park Parkinen, I'm not sure how to say his name, Stromwall, Lindholm, Korzak, and Jonathan Quick. And then we also have the weekly modes, Tyson Forrester, 84 overall edition here. Uh, you know, I'm not going to lie, probably one of the worst cards they've released when it comes to these weekly modes. I'm not really sure what they're uh, going for with this one. Um, I'll, show you, I'll show you guys the, um, you know, moments and objectives, all that in a second. But then the next gen cards, Boldy, Jarvis, Sandine, Palika, uh, Maddie, Chuck, Nazar, Dvorsky, Casa, Peltier, Kiskinen, Curran, Tumala, and Hildeby. So those are all the, the new cards that have come out today. I'll show you guys all the objectives too. Looking at the Flyers objectives here. So to get the 84 overall, Tyson Forcer, which I'll show you guys that card in a second. Really not a great card here. Um, but 2,000 coins for 15 shoulder checks with Flyer items. Alumni do not count. Um, 55 passes, you get a random 77. 50 shots with a Flyers item, 77. Uh, three blocks gives you 1k, 25 assists with a Flyers item gives you a random 79, 20 goals with a Flyers player and gives you an XP token, and completing one set will give you a random base Flyers player, which will give you this Tyson. I wasn't in the collection at first, and I can't understand why. This card is not good. I mean, 6-2, that's great. 215, right-handed winger. I mean, listen, I mean, the, the build is good, but the problem is he has 84 speed, 78 endurance is crazy. I'm sorry. Yes, I know he has 80. 80 with two way forward active but that is horrendous i don't care what you say this card there is just so many better cards there's 82 overall cards that are way better than this card and you don't have to do anything to actually get those cards besides spending like 5k or 10k on it right well, not 5k obviously you know what i mean like 10 to 12k on it so it's really ridiculous that this card is even like an objective card i mean it's just not good enough like you need to be at least like 88 speed or something and they'd be like okay then i'm down but it's just not it's not it guys it's just not. david did get the card 87 overall 93 speed 93 acceleration with playmaking forward and deking boost goalie lead edges i mean this card is absolutely tremendous let's see if there's any on the market right now i think i heard someone say they bought him for 700k are there any now Nine hundred ninety thousand coins i mean that that's crazy i mean it makes sense though mcdavid's the highest rated card in the game right now outside of holograms and I guess fantasies, but uh, this card is very, very worth it. But when I say I would spend a million coins, I don't know. That's where you get a little bit crazy, I think. But uh, his X Factor, of course, goes up as well. Uh, he unlocked a new synergy. Same thing for the holograms. They also unlocked new synergies. Uh, people are wondering, you know, are, are the silver abilities going to be free AP as well for the X Factor and the holograms? I don't know. That's a great question. I'm really not sure yet, but uh, that'd be pretty cool if it was. Looking at these milestone cards, here's Wayne Gretzky so he's got 90 speed 90 acceleration with playmaking forward and deking boost gold unstoppable for his 89 face-offs so people right away say well you know now everyone can just get Gretzky right you know I what about my Gretzky the hologram that I spent all that on realistically guys these cards are going to be incredibly incredibly rare and you got to understand that they're going to cost so much. They're going to also cost so much. Your holograms also can go up the whole year. So you might say, yeah, it's frustrating that someone can get the 87 Gretzky, which is spending coins outright, but it's going to cost them a ton. And of course, your hologram card can upgrade uh, with more Gretzky cards coming out. Uh, here's Mario Lemieux here as well. 87 speed, 88 Excel. I mean, realistically, Lemieux, I'm sorry. I'm just not a fan of his card right now, at least. Um, what a what a card this is, Loki, though, for his shot, though. I will say that. His shot's crazy. Uh, 95 slap shot power, 95 wrist shot accuracy and power. That's pretty wild. So uh, this, this Lemieux card does seem a little bit better than his hologram, potentially. Uh, but goal puck and a string, I don't love that, I will say. I don't really love that ability, but uh, it's... I 
can certainly understand why uh, you would try this card out. Um, and then, of course, we have Steve Eisman. This card is actually underrated to me. I mean, he's 5'10", 185, right-handed centerman. He's got 93 face-offs with synergies there, 89 speed, 88 acceleration, gold born leader on him as well to me this card is actually really underrated i feel like maybe people not might not actually think he's good but when you actually look at his stats i mean face-offs are crazy and then i guess people can kind of tell because this card is going for six hundred thousand coins so uh this card's awesome though uh and those are kind of like the big highlights of the content i'd say for today but now guys i'm gonna show you guys my packs that i open start with the game breaker set 25 random players i mean that's scary but let's see it 2.6k NHL points. Here it goes. Here it goes. First card. A 71 overall. A 76 Kiefer Sherwood. A 77 Sillinger. 75 Alabini. Oh no. 62. <laughs> Another 62. A 77 Bernie Nichols. A 70 overall. 76 overall. A 77 Dustin Brown. Nicholas Backstrom 81. Oh, wow. 75, Stefan Mateau. 75, Denisenko. Ray Shepard. A 65, a 76, a 77, Zetterlin 78. And it looks like I'm not going to get an 80 plus. Well, that's impressive, honestly. Yeah, that really is. I gotta, I gotta give you credit for the scam you just pulled. I mean, that is something for sure. Like, that is really something else. Like, you gotta wonder, like, what's, what's going on? Breaker player item. Let's see it. Do I get bailed or do I get trolled? Probably trolled, but let's see. Predictions closed. Here it goes. Let's see it. EA is cooking for me. Please deliver something. We got. I mean, whatever, I guess. Jay Gerva likes to follow. I mean, whatever, man. I guess it could be worse, but. You know? Damn. Well, so I didn't really have much luck, unfortunately, in that one and my other pack as well that I opened. But you know what? That's just how it is. You know, you expect packs to be kind of bad, unfortunately, this year. But uh, some new weekly hot moments that came out. So you get a weekly moment pack, weekly moment pack, weekly moment pack, pack and finally a weekly moment players pack. I don't really know what the weekly moment players pack entails 100%, but, you know, worth doing for sure. And then, of course, the game breaker moments did come out as well. And they're actually very easy. So I definitely recommend you guys doing them. It doesn't take long at all. Um, basically, all you have to do here is just very simple ones, which are, you know, score goals, two goals, simple. Score empty net goals, simple. Score one-timer goals, pretty easy as well. Score three goals, again, not that crazy in a full period. So uh, I think it's definitely worth it, but let me know what you guys think of all the content today and uh, what are your, uh, what cards you guys... But all right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, follow me on Twitch, Henrik. I'm live there every single day, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik at 3Es, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.